Hi guys, today we are going to solve permutations words second problem. Okay, so basically this problem is exactly similar to its previous one that is permutations words first. So you will ask me that why we are doing the prob same problem again and again because you will you can see that this the uh, problem statement is exactly the same. This is words first and this is word second. So exactly the same. But why we are doing this again and again to get a clear insight that how problems are getting solved of permutation and combination type. Okay. So basically, as I, as I said in my previous videos that every permutation and combination problem can be solved using two methods. Using two methods. First method, uh, basically if we talk about in box and ball terms. If we talk about boxes and ball terms. We are going to talk about in these two manner. So to be practical, let's say we are having four boxes. We are having four boxes and four number of balls. So if I ask you that, uh, yeah, these balls are numbered 1, 2, 3 and 4. So if I ask you that you have to put these balls into these boxes. So how many ways, in how many ways you can put this ball? So basically what you will do, you will pick a ball, you will put this ball into this box, after that this box, after that this box and after that this box. And the remaining box, after that, after putting the one ball, the boxes which are remaining, you will put the remaining balls into those boxes so what are the how we can solve this problem also how we are going to what are the insight which we can take from this problem basically we are having four boxes i'm i'm discussing words first problem i'm discussing word first problem that what are what is the method which we are uh, applying to that problem basically we are having four boxes in general we are having three bo uh, four balls okay so what i will do i will uh, the every box every box is going to choose which ball to hold every box is going to choose is uh, will choose will choose which ball to hold which ball to hold okay so for this box for this box we are having four choices what are the choices either i can take first ball either i can take second ball either i can take third ball or fourth ball. so there are four choices okay similarly if i have taken first ball if I have taken first ball, then for rest of the three boxes, for second box, it is having again having choices two, three, four. If I have taken first ball, now this ball is taken by first box, so the remaining balls are two, three, and four. So for the second box, the choices are for two and three and four balls. Okay. So this is our, uh, this is the method which we have chosen in words first problem. Okay. So what is the method which we are going to choose, which we are going to apply in this problem? Basically. We are having 1, 2, 3 and 4. 4 balls. 1, 2, 3 and 4 boxes. Very easy. So in this problem what we are going to do. Every ball. Every ball is going to choose in which box it is going to be placed. Let me explain again. Basically in words first problem. Every box is choosing that in which, which ball I will hold. And in this uh, problem we are going to uh, solve this question by method in which every ball will choose that in which box it is going to be placed so basically for first ball they are we are having four choices one dash 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 that means i have placed the first ball into first box easy again second choice first ball will re, first box will remain empty then i will place my ball then two will remain empty third choice i will place i will not place my ball here not here place here and then empty after that place the ball into last box so this is exactly same the you can see the uh, method in practical living is exactly same that if you put a ball into box or you put uh, a bo uh, basically ball into box and box uh, box is taking the ball first case first case box is deciding box is deciding okay in second case ball is deciding and in both cases in both cases ball is going into box both the cases the result is same so the our result what we desire to put ball put a ball this is the desire so you can see now that box to box will choose that which ball to put this is exactly same ball will decide that in which box it is going to put this is also same so we are going to choose this method okay we are going to do this method so i hope you guys understood that uh, why we are doing this problem to get the insight about the next method of the another method okay okay now 
now we will discuss that uh, when i solved this problem for the first time what are the problems what's the output and uh, what uh, what are the problems which i faced basically what are the problems which i faced okay so let's see the parameters this is current character or you can take it current ball at uh, for which ball we are making choices okay this is str str represents that uh, str is the set of balls okay str is the set of balls basically uh, let's say if str is equals to a b c d if this is our str str means string if this is our string then a is the ball b is the ball c is the ball d is the ball okay in, in general in general and uh, sports sports represent the boxes sports represent the boxes first initially it is uh, this empty sports is empty initially it is empty after that when we will hit our base condition now i am going to print this sports because it is holding the box it is holding the balls basically let's say a b c and d this is the case now this is one permutation so first box is holding a ball second box is holding b third c and fourth d okay so we will print we will print our sports array okay and last is hash map so uh, when i saw this problem for the first time i don't find any suitable reason why we are using this why the what is last occurrence and what's the use of this basically when i solved the problem now then i got the reason but if you see in words first problem in words first problem we are taking the frequency why we are taking the frequency this this can be understood that we are having four boxes we are having four boxes now first ball is uh, let's say one two three and four we are having four balls if first box is choosing first number of ball then how we are going to decide for the rest of the boxes that which ball is taken or which ball is remain basically frequency array frequency hash map this i'm talking about words first problem don't we get confused i'm talking about words first problem basically we are taking frequency hash map why to to let us know that we have taken this ball this number of times we have taken this ball this number of times that will be represented by hash map so if first ball first box has taken first number of ball so the frequency will be zero the lefted frequency will be zero that zero number of first ball is remained so rest of the three boxes cannot take this ball okay so this is easy this is understandable but uh, what's the use of last occurrence hash map why we are using this hash map okay so firstly let's move in the flow which i have applied to my code okay so basically what i will do what i will do for i will choose one ball so for cc equals to zero zeroth ball zeroth number of balls cc represents ball okay str includes all the balls is the set of balls cc is the current ball very easy after that what i will do i will choose the first ball and what are the choices either i can put this into first box second box third box or fourth box okay let's say there are four boxes and str includes a b c d so what are the choices i am talking about a so a can be put into first second third and fourth boxes so let's write this thing. let's write this thing basically we will do it line by line line by line we will discuss and line, line by line we will write so basically for firstly i will get the ball so str includes all the balls and cc represent i am talking about which ball so ball is of character type okay ch equals to str dot care at cc okay so i got the ball for which ball i am talking now for this ball there are four choices okay so four choices because we are having four number of boxes but but in this case we are having sports number of boxes so i is less than sports dot length okay after that i plus plus then then okay so i have traversed now till now what we have seen i i got the cc number of ball i traversed i have taken first second third and fourth number of boxes now what i have to do i will see whether this box is empty if this box is empty i will put myself into this box okay let's do it i will check if sports of i sports of i equals to equals to null equals to equals to null that means this box is empty so what i will do i will put myself into this box sports of i equals to ch okay now now what i will do if i put this ball into this box so there are four boxes now so if i put ch ch ball, uh, means a so if i put a here now what are the choices i will increase the value of cc 
that means i will talk about this character this understood and now again the rest of the case is same so what i will do i will make our call generate words generate words cc plus one because i have taken the current ball str will remain same sports and then last occurrence okay i am not taking anything i am not uh, touching last occurrence hash map i am not doing anything about it okay now after backtracking i will simply make it again none okay very easy now let's talk about base case base case will hit when i will uh, put a b c and d when i will put all the balls then my base case will hit and cc represents the ball so if cc equals to equals to str dot length that means i have put it all of my balls so in this case what i will do i will print all the boxes all the boxes so for i int i equals to zero i is less than sports dot length i plus plus and then simply print system dot out dot print sports and i very easy after that just change the line and return okay just watch out the output guys the output is very amazing i will explain you about this output also okay so for clear insight i am doing i am explaining this video in this way okay so let's run this okay so we are having compilation error cc equals to str dot length no problem okay yeah so we got the output okay so let's copy this output control c and move to our open board and control b okay so i will explain you why we are getting this what i can say this number of output what is this i don't know but yeah we are getting this output so let's see yeah so this is our output okay so this is this should be this should not be our output i will say that this output is wrong as we have seen wrong answer so this output is it output is wrong so what's the problem in this output we have done exactly same thing which we have discussed what's the problem we are getting repeated number characters a b c d a b a a b b same a a b b and two more a a b b a a b b a a b b so a a b b comes four number of time and every other string every other string is going to occur four number of times because these are 24 number of outcome 24 number of outcome i will explain the mathematics behind it just watch we are uh, every string is repeated four number of times why we will see it we are having 24 number of outcomes but the outcome should be six our desired outcome should be six okay so by 24 we will see okay so let's take an easy example let's take an easy example uh, a a b we are having three balls a a and b okay so basically what should be our output let's decide now what should be our output our output should be a b this should be our output a b a and b a a that's it that's it these are the three outcomes which are uh, suitable for us okay but let's see what is the what is the output according to our method basically we are talking about this ball i am talking about this ball so this ball will choose we are having four boxes three boxes so this ball will choose that i want to go into first box so i am talking about a so this will choose i will go into first box so a dash dash if second then a dash a and dash dash a okay these are the three choices okay so we have taken this now we will move to a now again it is having two two choices a a dash a dash a after this a a dash a oh sorry dash a and a okay in this a dash a and dash a a okay so these are the uh, six choices after that simple a b a b a a a b b a a a b a and b a so these are the outcomes which we are getting and output should be six uh, according to our method outcome should be six because three factorial which is equal to three into two six but desired outcomes are three why we don't let's see a a b a b repeated a b a a b a repeated b a a b a a repeated so why we are getting repeated outcomes why because because we are having a a b as our string we are having a and a as repeated characters just watch this state 
जस्ट वॉच इन दिस स्टेट दिस डैश ए डैश ओके दिस ए दिस ए लेफ्टेड दिस प्लेस दिस ए लेफ्टेड दिस प्लेस फॉर सम अदर कैरेक्टर ए इज डिसाइडिंग दैट आई विल नॉट सिट ऑन द फर्स्ट प्लेस आई विल सिट ऑन द सेकेंड प्लेस and just above step in just above step another a is sitting on that place basically if you will write we are having two balls a and a just talk let's talk about these balls a and a firstly a decided to not to sit on the first place so we got this output okay and this i am talking in general way a and a okay so this is empty let's see again 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 so basically we are having two balls a and a after that b so this day i am talking about this a this a decided not to sit on the first place so this will be the case and and after coming after coming this a decided that i will sit on this place okay and this is the case this is the case after that i am talking about this ball initially so if this ball decided that i will not sit so this will be placed there and if i talk about this ball this ball decided that i will sit so you will see that we are getting exactly same outcomes because first ball is choosing i will not sit and other, another ball is saying that i will sit so for same number of balls for same balls that is a a b b we have to divide our answer by that repeating number factorial we have seen this formula because i have seen so i will expect that you have also seen what is the formula that if let's say if i am talking about this string so we are having 1 and 2 so a is repeating two number of times so we will divide our total outcomes by two factorial and b is also repeating two number of times so into two factorial so what are the total number of outcomes 1 2 3 4 so four factorial this should be our answer but this is not our answer four factorial which is which we are getting here which we are getting here where is our output these are 24 as i mentioned these are 24 but our answer should be our answer should be 4 into 3 into 2 factorial upon 2 factorial into 2 factorial which is equal to 6 so as i mentioned as i mentioned our desired output is of six number of times so what are the output a a b b a b a b a b b a okay b a a b b a b a and b b a so these are the six outcomes which we require rest of the outcomes are repeated four number of times by two factorial because of a into two factorial because of b so two factorial into two factorial four so every string is going to repeated four number of time so what we have to do what is the solution how we are going to solve this basically this problem is arising because our character is leaving its place for some other characters and that same character a and a if this uh, a is lefting a place and this a is taking that place this will result into repeating cases so what we will do if this a decided that i will not sit on the first place i will sit on the second place so what are the choices left for this a this a can sit uh, sit ahead ahead means let's say these are empty spaces so this a can only sit on this 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 and this it cannot sit here that's why we are taking last appearance hash map so that we can get notified that we have put it this a on the first index so now for the second a we have to put this a on the greater indexes so let's write this condition let's write this condition basically i will get the least index at which index i have put it the previous character so int least index which is equals to uh let's make this name is called lo okay lo so lo dot get ch okay so i got the last appearance of the previous a now what i have to do i can put my a on greater than now basically i let's say let's again if this a this a decided that i will not sit here i will sit here so uh, least index value is 1 so for this a i can place this a on two two rest of the string so i will start my loop from lo plus 1 and rest of the boxes after that after that what is my least index become my least index is okay the value of my uh, lo lo means hash map okay so lo dot put dot put ch i okay so i am putting because i am i, I am placed on two second index so i will mention that the last occurrence of a is 2 and after backtracking lo dot put ch 
and simply L L I. Okay. So this is the only change which we, which is required, and now we will get the same output. Okay. So in nineteenth line, L O plus one uh, here L I L I. Okay. Now we will get the same ones. So twenty four. Generate words CC plus one STR last up So L O here. So these are some errors. No problem. Now our code is accepted. So I understood now. You understood now. Basically, whenever we are getting repeated characters, we have to put that character ahead of the previous one. This is the only change which is required. So I hope you guys understood. If you have not understood, just watch that video again. You will get the point what I mean to explain. Okay. So that's all about this video. We will meet in the next video. Till then, bye.